Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. Potentially my favourite promo in all of FIFA is here. Future Stars is available now. You can pack them, there's SPCs, there's objectives, there's a crazy looking Chalabo objective, which is going to take some time, bear in mind. I probably will have to stream that out tomorrow, but we're starting things off tonight. We're taking it easy a little bit. There's some insanely sick high tier cards that I do want to check out, but we're checking out probably one of the most affordable cards here, Mr. 95k, Jao Pedro. I managed to snipe him for 95k. Realistically, at the time of this, he's about 120, but that may drop depending on the pack weight of these cards. But we've got a six foot high low four star, four star baller here. Now, the card itself looks really damn solid. The pace shouldn't be an issue. 95 acceleration is all good. Shooting stats a little bit low on the shot power. Definitely a chem star to boost that up. Maybe even a finisher on this card just to max out those dribbling stats as well. But on paper, what we've got is a fantastically well rounded. Uh, somewhat meta striker here. Not super cracked out on the dribbling. Decent finishing and pace. I'm excited. i got high hopes for the man. Unfortunately, no finishing traits. Which is a little bit of a letdown. But the card looks sick. And let's just look at the card design. What? EA. No matter if you like the game or hate the game at the moment. you got to admit the card designs are pretty damn sick. So the card looks sick, guys. Drop me a like if you're excited. And let me know who you want to check out of the Future Star promo. I'm hoping to review as many as I can, essentially. As long as I can afford them. The likes of Smith Road, too many, are all very expensive at the moment. But I see what I can do, guys. But enough waffling. Let's give me the boys I'm going to use this man with. Yes, now the lads, the lads, the lads. What are we saying? Gabby Martinelli gets a nice strong link into Jao Pedro. That is a dream combo. we got Saka, Bruno Fernandes, Cruyff, Aubameyang. And then a pretty stat back four. I'm very attacking in this team. I literally just realised I've got Bruno Fernandes. It's probably the most defensive player, which uh, is saying a lot because he doesn't have a lot going for him defensively. But it is what it is, lads. We're here to have some fun and test out this baller. The chem stuff for this man, I'm actually going to put a dead eye on him. That's what Footbin is telling me, purely to boost up the passing and max out the shooting stats as much as possible. We go up to 98 shot power, which hopefully will be clutch, 97 finishing and 99 attack positioning. So this man is going to be a poacher, an absolute finisher, and I'm damn excited to try him, lads. Let's do this. Division 2. I'm yet to really start my div grind back from uh, on my way back to the elite division. We've got brand new milestones. You've got to get eight wins now, I believe. So it's going to be a sweaty grind. Game number one. What are we saying? What is Jal Pedro feasting on today? Okay. It's decent. It's pretty meta. Yeah, pretty bog standard. Couple of gold rares kicking about in there. Phil and Mendy. The usual culprits are Marquinhos and Kipembe. So a decent defense for our man to get through. But I'm confident. Let's see if we can start off with a bang. So guys, let me know down below, you know the drill, what do you think of the Future Stars promo? Are we excited? The SPC is a bit of a mare in all fairness. I'm not really uh, you know, too phased about it. It's Arthur Cabral, I believe it is. I recently transferred to somewhere, I'm not sure where. I've not really paid any attention to it. But Tomoyasu is apparently coming out over the next couple of days. And that is all that matters to me. Uh, but the objective Chalabal is good. I'm a big fan of the academy objectives where you start at a low tier and build your way up. And the rest of the team, unreal. Hopefully, they're not super expensive because I need Smith Rowe. I need too many in my team for foot chaps this weekend league. Well done, Tierney. One inside here to Orba. High low work rates is going to be really nice for our man, Jao Pedro. Look at him in the space in the middle. Keepers coming though. And he's been absolutely annihilated. I've been trying out a lot of players in medium low recently. And it's been driving me a little bit insane, especially for attackers. They barely want to bomb forward by themselves. They're just waiting for me to trigger the run. So hopefully high low, our man is going to be a poacher. He's want to get, uh, going to want to get in on the goals. And that is what I like from my strikers. Let's get the man on the ball. Jao Pedro. First touch is a banger. No, mate. What? That is, would have been a second touch. And he's always scored an absolute screamer, lads. All right, then. All right, so we got a bit of a beast on our hands by the looks of it. I do like his boots as well, the purple boot vibe. He doesn't feel super agile, but, but not bad. <laughs> he managed to snake his way through there, but just fumbled on the last hurdle. Uh, but he doesn't feel super liquid. We haven't given the chem style to fine tune the dribbling stats as well. We're purely focusing on the shooting stats on this card. Um, but yeah, high hopes so far. Just need to get that gold up. Well done, Rio. Love that. Come on up, boys. It's been a pretty slow start. But look at Jao Pedro bombing forward with the movement. Kipembe's been left in the mud. Kipembe's a big geezer, though. 
I did too much of it. I shouldn't have ball rolled it. Probably should have tried to take it with his left foot. We do have four star, four star on the card, so you probably should feel confident trying to go with his weak foot there. But I fluffed my lines. Decent bit of movement, though. Bit of pace to get ahead of Kipembe. Even at this stage of the game, Kipembe is still one of the most overpowered centre-backs that we've got kicking about the place. Uh, but, yeah, we're just getting closer and closer, lads. We're going to get the debut goal. Don't you worry. Oh, wow. Who's bad that? Lucas Paqueta. What a strike. I gave my uh, opponent too much time on the edge of the box there, boys. Oh, boys. Why is there so much space? What's going on, lads? It's all good. All right, I still got carried away here. You know me, I like a cheeky comeback. All right, let's just see how this goes, boys. We need a serious bit of magic here to turn this around. So we found ourselves 2 0 down at half time. We had a couple of chances, Jao Pedro. He almost scored a screamer with his second touch. Apart from that, I may have fluffed my lines with a one on one. But so far, what I'm seeing is promising. I just need to create a moment of magic here, boys. Obama Yang, as much as I loved you at Arsenal, mate, you're not doing it for me today. I might even bring on this chap as well for Saka. Bit of defensive reassurance in there. Maybe play him a... Uh, I say defensive reassurance. He's got 68 defending, but let's just see how it goes. Oh, he's been absolutely clattered on the edge of the box there. Kipembe taking him out, boys. All right, we're going a bit attacking now. I'm mixing it up. I'm throwing the dice a little bit, boys. I'm getting frustrated. All right? This game's not going my way, but it's fine. It's future stars. All right, deep breaths. Take a step back and appreciate the quality content EA has given me today. But let's get a goal, please. Please, just one goal. Who's on free kicks to me? Verde. <clears throat> the man can absolutely ping these. Doesn't matter if Kipembe's on the line. As long as we hit this correct. There it is, boys. Look at the power on this man's free kicks. It's an absolute joke. Thank you, Verde. Bailing me out, boys. This is it. Time to mix it up a bit. Get a bit spicy and get back in this game. He's been annihilated again, boys. What are the odds of bagging a free kick from here, then? I'll tell you what, he's decent at drawing fouls, lads. That's one thing for sure. If Verde scores here, I might bat flip. Oh, he's moving the keeper over. He's scared. He damn well should be. The state of Verde's free kicks are ridiculous. How have we not scored, boys? Yao Pedro with the press. Come on, lads. Surely from this one. Let's get the ball in the box. Get the ball in the box, boys. One of you. Rio! Keeper, mate. Keeper. Come off it. If we can pitch out Pedro here. That's fantastic. We have as well. We have. Let's go. Let's go. My get this, this connection has been absolute arse cheeks. I'm not going to lie to you, boys. I've been lagging all over the place. But we've only gone and done it. The comeback. Jao Pedro leaps like a salmon with a 99 head in accuracy and gets us back in this game. Two all. All right, two all. Anything can happen here. As long as the game doesn't keep lagging all over the shop, we might be all right. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Never in doubt. As soon as I thought it was over. All right, I was speechless for a second. Jao Pedro turns up the ante and that's what this card can do for you, boys. So we end up drawing free all, but what a fantastic performance from our man, Jao Pedro. Bagging the two goals. And that last goal in particular was a bit of class from the man. As soon as I thought we had fluffed our chances here, dug in deep, nice bit of dribbling, nice bit of pace, and then still has the audacity to finish it over the keeper. Quality card, lads. So our man, Jao Pedro, got himself two. Fantastic goals. 95k is how much I spent on him. Hopefully, he is dropping, dropping, dropping in price as it stands. At the time of recording this, boys, it is half past six. And he's still sitting about 100k. I mean, I don't know how many of these are getting picked up by someone for 100k here. Okay, so he's still got about 125k on Xbox, uh, which is a reasonable price for this card. There's going to be hype. There's no doubts about it, especially on release day. Four-star, four-star, high low Premier League, which is premium. I think he's a fantastic player, lads. The pace is really good. He feels really quick. Finishing is going to be quality. We almost scored an absolute screamer with his second touch of the ball. Inside the box is clinical. The heading is a nice bonus as well, especially from those corners. Jumping is a little bit low, which is a bit frustrating because he's uh, six, actually six foot. He's still a decent height there. He's got the strength, which is nice. Same with the stamina. Dribbling, in all honesty, he's not super quick, super agile, but the four star skills and those dribbling stats are pretty decent for you. You could even give him that finisher chem style if you want to fine tune the dribbling. The passing's a little bit questionable, even with the dead eye boost. 
I noticed a couple of times he was kind of underselling passes. That long pass that is a bit uh, frustrating. In a formation where you use two strikers and you want the link-up play to be quick and snappy, he may let you down every now and then. He's not ridiculously consistent. But overall, big thumbs up for me. Jao Pedro's a baller, lads. Let me know down below who you want me to check out next. I am going all night tonight. I was up at 5.45 this morning, but it's not going to stop me, boys. We are reviewing as many as we can. So let me know down below. I'll be more. See, drop me a like if you enjoyed. And I'll be back very shortly. Catch you in a bit.